Good afternoon and welcome to the, uh, the harvest day at Beal. One of the probably the best days of the harvest days we've had this year. Absolutely superb. Wind blowing, nice temperatures, sun shining, perfect day for combining barley. Also the first day of the Beale Festival, the Lindisfarne Festival. So cars are coming in here and ho hopefully everybody's going to have a great weekend. So harvest day, yeah, probably was drilled the plants or drilled the crop about yeah, three to four weeks later than when we'd normally expect to. That's actually turned out we've probably harvested about a week to 10 days later. How's the crop performed? Yeah, I mean, as we've got into the crop, it got better as we got across the field. I think it's fair to say, probably just down to field conditions on saying that, so maybe it's unfair to name varieties, but the overall crops averaged around about sort of 5.8, 5.9 tonnes to the hectare seems to have been where we've got off. Individual varieties, some have done better than others. The seed treatments that we put on that we've been talking about a lot did quite well. Standout variety and yield is Tennyson. It's done well over seven tonnes to the hectare compared to, like I've always said, our GP, that lower yielding crop was just another five tonnes to the hectare. So the differences that we expected to see. We've gathered the samples as we've gone along, as always. We'll put them in for the micro malt now. What happens with the field now? The straw will get bailed up. And then as soon as we can, he'll be putting a cover crop into it. We're going to sow four different types of cover crop. Again, just trying to evaluate what difference they make to the barley we're growing from our sustainability and reducing our carbon footprint point of view. So yeah, great weekend harvest. It's happened. I think the barley in general, when we're cutting it there, it's yielded better than we first feared. And the sample actually looks quite good. So we'll get that into the lab and see where we're going from that. So. Once again, on behalf of Simpsons Malt, thanks to Rod Smith and all the team at Beale for the hard work in putting these trials together, which I know we all benefit from. <laughs>